Genevieve speaking. In this lecture, we're looking at data visualization, so the use of graphical displays to summarize and present information about a data set, specifically uh, looking at summarizing data for two variables, using tables, but also bar charts. A data set called restaurant includes a quality rating, which is a qualitative variable, and meal price, which is a quantitative variable. So we have data for 300 Los Angeles restaurants. Since we have two variables, we're going to have a cross tabulation, so a tabular summary of data for two variables. Meal price and quality. We're using rows to display our um, quality categories. Good, very good, excellent. And we followed the guideline outlined in our text to arrive at the following meal price uh, classes. So the first class, 1019, includes a restaurant with meal prices ranging from $10 to $19. And the other classes are defined the same way. Putting the two together, we have a table where we can keep track of how many restaurants are in a given quality uh, ranking category and a given meal price class. So for example, in B4, actually C4, uh, we want to count the number of restaurants from our data set that offer uh, meals of good quality and at good price. To fill out the table using um, those criteria, meal quality and meal price, we use the count ifs function that we introduced before. So 42 in our uh, C4 cell over here means that in our data set of 300 observations, 42 of them are restaurant offering good meals um, or price from 10 to $19. Only two restaurants in our data set have an excellent rating and offer uh, price uh, 10 to $19 for their meal. In general, in general, we see that uh, higher quality um, rating means ha higher meal price and vice versa. So none of the most highly priced meal is going to be of the lowest quality ranking rating. Here for each row, I'm going to add, so if each row, each quality rating, I'm going to add how many um, restaurants I have across meal prices. So I add it over here to get 84. Once I do that for all the rows, uh, I get the quality rating frequency distribution, something we're already familiar with. And I'm going to uh, add for each column across the rows. And once I'm done doing that for all the columns, I get the middle price frequency distribution. Put together, I get my complete uh, table 2.10 from the frequency distribution, which I call total. Um, in the right margin, I see that the majority of uh, restaurant, 150 of them, have a very good quality uh, offer, very good quality meals. Similarly, from the bottom margins, I see that the highest number of restaurants offer um, meal priced from 20 to 29 dollars. Like we've done before, in addition to the frequency distribution, we can compute the relative frequency and the percent frequency. For our quality rating or our meal price. Here we constructed table 2.11, row percentages for each quality rating category. So for each quality rating category, we have 100%. Out of that 100% of the good quality rating restaurant, how many of them, how many, what percentage of them offered meal 10 to $19? I go get uh, the number of restaurant the um, good quality rating that offers uh, those 10 to $19 price meal, divide that by 84. 
and since I'm looking at percentages, multiply by 100 to get 50%. Instead of, I can compute the column percentages uh, for each mill price class. So each mill price class, 100% of them in that class. Um, uh, what percentage of the 10 to $19 uh, mill price are going to be excellent? 2.6, same thing. I computed that by uh, getting information from table 2.10. So two divided by 66 and multiply by 100. Oops, two divided by 78. Multiply by 100 is equal to 2.6. Back to our cost tabulation numbers, I simply um, constructed table where we have relative frequency and percent frequency instead of simply frequency. The one over here means 1% of the 300 restaurants have excellent meal price 10 to $19. We're done playing with our uh, tables. Now let's play with charts. I'm selecting um, my data and I'm going to uh, insert a bar chart and I'm going to use the clustered column one because I have um, two variables. Here we go. Here I show those bar charts for our first table with the frequency and our third table over here with our percent frequency. I have, I have added um, a more meaningful table. On those charts, I'm looking at how the um, quality ranking varies uh, across meal prices, meal price range to be exact. I can switch that around and look at how meal prices vary across quality writing. Let's do that. So go in the chart area, right click, select uh, data, and then switch row and press OK. That's it. So here for both our charts, we are looking at how meal prices vary across quality ranking. And this concludes our presentation about uh, summarizing data for two variables using tables and charts.